I love George Wendt and I'd been meaning to watch the 1995 Bye Bye Birdie for quite a while. I had seen the 1963 version, which I quite liked. So I thought I'll check this out, see what it's like, try not to compare it. But let's face it, it's inevitable. And it's not too bad. Bye Bye Birdie is not necessarily one of my favourite musicals. Well, it's not one of my favourite stories, but the music in it is really good. All things considered, I liked it. George Wendt was awesome. If I were to choose between the two before I go any further, I'd say the 1963 version is better, but it's a close call. The 1995 version was directed by Gene Satz and written by Michael Stewart. And we have Shina Phillips as Kim and Mark Kudish as Conrad. We also have George Wendt as Kim's father. And I have to say, he wears some awesome costumes at one point in the film. He looks brilliant in royal blue. Really enjoyed George Wendt in this, of course. As much as I don't like Conrad as a character, I think Mark Kudish did a great job with the role. And the performances throughout the film were really good. It's just the narrative for me that I don't I don't love, and th I think that's partly because I don't love Conrad. Conrad is a rock and roll star, and he's about to go in the army. So it's organised for him to release this hit song called One Last Kiss, and to mark this, he's going to kiss one girl who has been randomly selected. This girl, of course, is Kim. And it's kind of a publicity stunt before he goes in the army. And the film is initially about that. And then he and Kim uh, end up, you know, spending time together because of something that happens. And there's a lot of jealousy in this film from a lot of different people. And also a lot of uncertainty about what, what direction it's taking. Honestly, I, I don't love the narrative. I really don't. It's not a story that I care for. So had this not been a musical, if we strip away the musical elements, the dance numbers, if it was just a drama or a romance film or anything like that, I I wouldn't have really cared for it very much. I don't really like the story. And I think I felt the same way with the 1963 version. I want to point out that it's not this film that makes me dislike the story. In general, I don't care for it. And I dislike Conrad, so me not being interested in the specifics of the narrative while also disliking one of the main characters doesn't mean there's much room for it to be a film that I love. However, the music is brilliant. Also, there are some likeable characters, aside from Harry, George Wen's character. I really, really loved the character of Albert. He's played by uh, Jason Alexander and I don't remember how I felt about the character in the other version. It's been quite a while since I saw it. He's Birdie's manager and uh, songwriter as well and I just, I loved the character. Absolutely loved him in this. So I'm not just biased towards George Wendt, although I definitely am. There are other characters and performances in this that I did enjoy. But as I was going to say, the music is, is wonderful and it's one of the reasons why, aside from George Wendt, that I really wanted to see this. Annoyingly, ever since I watched the 1963 version, I watched it in 2021, I have had the song We Love You Conrad. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but you'll know which one I mean. I've had that in my head for more than two years. And <laughs> I'm kind of concerned that I've just made it worse. But it was worth it. The music is great. The choreography is great. The dance... Um, the dancing is really brilliant. The The costumes are fabulous. Some of the costumes are basic, not that interesting, but every now and then we'll get a costume that really stands out, and often that's Conrad. As I mentioned, George Wendt wears this wonderful royal blue jacket at one point that looks brilliant. So there are a lot of really great things about this, and I certainly do recommend the film, but Bye Bye Birdie is never going to be one of my favourite musicals, and admittedly, had it not been for George Wendt, I probably wouldn't have seen this. And I guess what I'm trying to say there is that I have no interest in seeing it on stage unless there's somebody in it I'm desperate to see. However, if you're a fan of musicals, I do recommend you check it out because the music is brilliant. Do I recommend you check out this version before the Dick Van Dyke version or even any other version? No, not necessarily. But if you are drawn to anybody in particular in this or indeed if you've seen another version and want to see a different adaptation, then this Bye Bye Birdie film is a good film. It's a good film. It handles the material well, and I think it's done very well. The music is great. The performances are great. 
I just don't love the narrative. And it's as simple as that. So I happily listen to the music again, pr- probably not watch the film again. But if the narrative appeals to you, then I think it's something you'll really enjoy. <laughs> 